Hello everyone. What I bring to you today is next important carving techniques, pine tree carving techniques. So let's first look at the carved pine tree. Pine tree is one of the three friends in winter. Pine, bamboo, and Chinese plum are called the three friends of Sui Han. So in our next important carving, it is widely used. Next, we will proceed to how the pine tree is carved. First, we take out a mud body in order to facilitate everyone's observation. I first paint the surface of the mud with a layer of ink. After the ink dries, we can start carving so everyone can see clearly. After the ink is applied, let's make a composition of this area where the ink is painted. Because in this area, we want to carve the shape of a pine tree. First of all, we have to consider the chain of the branches. Then, according to the chain of the branches, Carve its pine leaves. So, when the composed picture, we should pay attention because what we sculpt is only a partial picture. So we can't carve the whole pine tree. So we can only serve at the partial sculpture. For example, the pine branches of a pine tree it stretches down from the edge of the curb, or a pine branch grows from the side. It embodies the vigorous and powerful feeling of the pine tree. All right, next we can start carving. First, let's carve the branches because pine trees are more vigorous and powerful, so our engraving is deeper. The tip of our knife needs to penetrate into the mud more forcefully, then slowly into the carving of the small branches. The technique of branch carving is similar to the technique of plum blossom carving. It is also style that is more vigorous and powerful. After the carving of the pine branches is basically completed, let's consider the leaves of the pine tree. Four leaves, because we usually describe needle-like pine leaves, so we need to carve leaves one by one. Every pine needle needs one move like this. Use the sharp part of the oblique knife. After basic layouts appeared, there will be some differences in the leaves of the pine trees. So it will have a distinction between far and near. There is such a feeling. When the pine leaves are basically carved out, let's think about the whole picture. We can make the thicker where it. Branches may look unreadable. The thickness of its changes is unreadable, and we can carve some small dots on the pine branches. Represents the bark of the pine tree, vigorous bark. We'll have some details when it's almost down. For example, pine trees generally grow in deep mountains, and some vines are prone to appearing. This growing environment and wrap around it. We should have some vines wrapped around it. Then some leaves will grow on the vine. Let's use some points to reflect it. Basically, we have carved such a pine tree. The students can take out a clay body of their own. You can practice. The carving technique of the pine tree is similar to our plum blossom. It's just that the leaves are different from the plum blossoms, so we should make a difference here. Next, everyone can do some practice. 